All right, greasy libtards. Man, it's really out here, Jim. That a little better? Check this out. It ain't even fucking no... Oh, nice. And I want to go fast camper for my Tacoma. Anyhow, um, yeah, so we got some fittings and we got some bullshit because the fucking Jimmy Rig fuel system from Inner Smashable Harvester is dog shit. Anyway, hopefully that's not leaking. DJ fuel, that would be fun. I might tighten that one down a little bit. Oh, that feel very tight. Anyhow, so there's a double flare fitting down there at the lift pump. I resealed the lift pump. You can kind of see down there. Well, actually, you can't see shit. Well, you can see it down in there being all shiny. Nice and shiny. Anyways, so whoever on this before me cut this line up here, I had to resolder it down there because they cut it. Then I want to check a fuel line up here. There's a medium thread fitting to barb that I run. And then I run a, I think this is a, like a 3 8 in a diameter elbow or three eighths outer diameter barb like i don't know a quarter inch inner diameter hole and then that barb fitting goes into this filter head here i put a fuel filter on it you can see there's some red shit on it i always fill the fuel filter with atf to increase the lubricity of the diesel fuel as well as to activate some detergents to help clean out the injection pump if there's any varnish in there next thing i did was i ran an adapter with an o-ring which i have yet to see and then there's a 3 8 elbow right here. Should have saved the part number for that. Then I ran another, this one also, the adapter here that goes into the nose cone of the injection pump has an O-ring on it. Then this is the same 3 8 elbow basically as up here. This one's fine thread, I think this one's medium thread like this guy. Um, I also ran a 3 8 elbow here so I could run back all the way this chunk of fuel line, 3 8 inner diameter, the hose clamp. As you can see, there is no um nipple coming off this side it's just a single out single return so i eliminated re the return side to the supply side of the injection pump in case there's any air leaks it won't suck air back into the injection pump what a fucking stupid design you know it's just like over here so i eliminated that little t that was over here the next thing um of course there's just the standard quarter inch inner diameter fuel lines running all the way around so these are two three eighths to barb fittings um and this is a four-way t and then these are quarter inch outer diameter barbs, so three eighths and then quarter. Um, this will probably run you between thirty and forty dollars in brass fittings because they're not cheap. But the benefit is you'll never have to go to International Harvester and pay twelve dollars a piece for these stupid fucking fuel olives, and that's what they're called. They're called fuel olives. Um, this was my first attempt at making the nose cone barb, but then I said fuck this and went to. Uh, went to a sewing house to get some fucking parts yeah so this is the barb that i'm running right here and it runs in like that um also there's a custom belt on the alternator because this alternator is too big and you can't fucking get it in which is a whole different story whatever <laughs> there's a whole bunch of jimmy rigged shit you know and then i think this is the barb that comes out here the same thread pitch you can see it's a slightly smaller thread pitch a little finer but then this guy's an elbow with the 3 8 end. And then this barb goes in, in and out on that T. And a quarter inch barb. Let's see if I have one over here. <clears throat> That's 3 16 but it serves the same purpose. You can see it's got that same fine thread outside diameter. And those are all the same female thread pitch in that T that these male and barbs thread into. So let's see, run that. Um, yeah, I didn't need any of this, got an extra key, but uh, yeah, that way you can eliminate these, because it's a single flare fitting, as you can see, it's, it's a single flare and then there's a fuel olive that presses into it to eliminate vibration, but I call bullshit on that because these injection nozzles sit directly on the pre-chamber, they screw into the pre-chamber, right, through the cylinder head. And that is a double flare fitting right here that goes back to the injection pump. So not only are you getting all of the vibrations and the shock loading from the injection nozzle from the combustion chamber through these lines, you're also getting all of the harmonic vibrations and chattering between all the gear teeth and the gear train here transmitted through the solid shaft of the injection pump through the solid connection here to these lines. I know they put these rubber dampers here, and yes, they do prevent fatiguing. But the thought that 
you need this fucking hard line to run from here instead of just having ubiquitous 3 8 inner diameter fuel line and quarter inch inner diameter fuel line that's low pressure that every fucking auto parts store between here and Vietnam carries is fucking stupid. I put a double flare on this fitting and I, you know, um, kind of ground it down a little bit so that way this guy would have something to bite onto, right? But like I got an auxiliary primer pump right there and these two leads I was hooking on to get this fuel system primed and oh back there we had a little bit of fuel bubbling up so I think we're good to bleed the injection system and start this thing if we want. Anyhow, that's how I did this. I'm going to post this more for me than for anybody else so I can remember how to do this when I inevitably buy another one of these piles of shit. Oh, a new voltage regulator in there. Make sure the grounds on these are good. So your headlights are flashing kind of like that, and they sit there at idle and do whoa, 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 and then as you speed up, you know, they do that. It's because they don't have a good ground. I mean, they can be shorted internally, but I find that if you just clean the ground up on these, generally they'll be good. But anyhow, I wanted a new one, so I bought a spare one. There's a vacuum pod. I left the extra vacuum reservoir over there in it, too. Um, but yeah, the throttle works a lot better now that, uh, you know, that the cruise control is taken out because it didn't work. So I said, fuck that. No more air conditioning in it, either. It's still got the, the input line and the condenser in it, but... <sighs> the pump and all that other horse shit is gone. I would like to take this box apart and pull the evaporator out just to get this out of the way um, because it makes taking the valve cover out very difficult. Uh, I took the valve cover out after I took this filter housing thing out. Um, anyways, that's notwithstanding. Oh, no, no jacking equipment in there. Oh, must have been some good math, eh? <laughs> all right, well, I'll see y'all later.